Game of the Week is sponsored by Kennedy and Son Structural Solutions. Yeah, teams fighting for the top seed in the playoffs tonight over in Northeast Alabama. We take you under the lights inside R.D. Hicks State. There she is. Sports anchor Cam Durr joins us. So, Cam, it's quite simple for our 48 Blitz Game of the Week. Randolph wins, they become region champs. If North Jackson wins, they can clinch a title next week uh, with a win tonight and then, of course, a win over DAR next week. Yeah, that's right, Carl. And it seems that week nine just across the board did not disappoint. And that was certainly the case here tonight in this class 4A region eight battle for the top spot in the region. Both of these teams just not backing down. And this one just really a tale of two halves. This week, we ride into Chiefs country as the 6-0 Randolph Raiders takes on 5-1 North Jackson for a shot at a class 4A region eight title. And early on, the offenses were on full display. One team taking to the air. Randolph's Walker Mitchell hauling it in and stretching out for the touchdown. 7-0 Raiders up early. North Jackson sticking to the ground game. They tie it up with a big run by Diego Holt. 7-7 after the first two possessions of this game. A back and forth first half and in this one. Offense, the story through the first 24 minutes of play. Diego Holt muscles in for the go-ahead score. His third touchdown of the night. Chiefs led 21 14 heading into the locker room. Well, the story changed in the second half, and the defense was the main character. Only a touchdown apiece in the second half. Randolph only yards away from history in the fourth quarter. They're going to be stopped short. The two-point attempt, no good. Bring on the ice-cold showers. Coach Hollis and his Chiefs one game away from a region title. 28-26, the final score. Really proud of the kids. They played gutsy when the whole game, and then when the big moments came, they, they found a way. You know, we were all dependent on each other and I thought they played as a team and just so proud of players, coaches, everybody involved. 